So we have seen the basis of classification, relation between classification and evolution. So we have seen the different kinds of classifications given, given by different people. So there uh, we have seen Robert Whittaker has given five kingdom classification which is the most accepted classification of organisms which consists of five kingdoms. The first one is Monera out of the five kingdoms. The second one is Protista and the third one is Fungi. The fourth one is Plantae and the fifth one is Animalia. These are the five major kingdoms into which all the living organisms fall under these five kingdoms. So, among these five kingdoms, first we are discussing the three kingdoms here, Monera, Protista, Fungi, later we discuss about Plantae and Animalia. So, let us look at the Monera. Monerans are the most primary organisms that have very simple body structure. So, they are prokaryotic organisms. You know what are prokaryotic organisms? The organisms that do not have a distinct nucleus and cell organelles. So, they are unicellular. Even in their cells, they do not have a specific nucleus. Means, their nuclear material is not enveloped by a membrane. See, we are eukaryotic. If you take any cell of your body and if you observe it under microscope, your cell will have distinct nucleus. Nucleus is enveloped by nuclear membranes. And you see the other organelles covered by some membrane. So, that is seen in eukaryotic organisms. But whereas these monerans are prokaryotic in nature, that means they do not have a specific nucleus or cell organelles. So, that is the one feature we observe. And the next one is some of them they have cell walls. Some of them do not have cell wall, but some have a cell wall. Some of the monerans have cell wall. Some have cell wall. Some do not. Anyway, if you see, if you come to plant and animal here, based on the cell wall, they are divided. The organisms that have that specific cell wall, those are all plants. Plants, all the plants, they have cell wall. Animals do not have cell wall. But whereas here, in case of these monerans, some monerans may have cell wall, some do not have. Let us see that the mode of nutrition in morena, what kind of nutrition they take. Some are autotrophic and some are heterotrophic. Certain monerans, they can synthesize their own food. That means they show both the modes of nutrition like autotrophic as well as heterotrophic mode of nutrition. And the examples of the monerans, so what are the organisms that fall under this category? Blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, these are the examples of monera. Blue-green algae, cyanobacteria. So that, now let us move to the next group, protista. So the protista is a bit higher compared to the monerans. Protista, it includes the unicellular organisms that are eukaryotic in nature. These are also unicellular, but their cell structure has got defined nucleus, specific nucleus, specific cell organelles. So the nucleus and organelles are membrane bound that is found in protista. And uh, another important feature that we observe in this protista is certain organisms in protista they have appendages. Appendages mean special structures on their body surface which help them in a specific function. See for example, in case of a paramecium, paramecium is a protista, chlamydomonas. They have some cilia or whip-like structures. So these cilia or whip-like structure help these organisms to get the food to protect for movement. So the special arrangements like cilia which help the organisms or called as appendages are present in this protista. And if you see their mode of nutrition, some are autotrophic, some are heterotrophic. Certain protozoans, certain protists have photosynthetic pigments to carry out photosynthesis to prepare their own food, certain do not. So both kind of nutrition is found there, autotrophic as well as heterotrophic. Let us see the examples of protista. What falls under this category? Algae, Spirogyra. So that is an algae, Chlamydomonas, Spirogyra and Diatoms. Diatoms are the very uh, minute organisms that are found in the water. So the organisms like Amoeba, Euglena, Paramecium, Chlamydomonas, these are all comes under this protozoans. And so these are the examples of protista. Now let us see that fungi. Fungi are the organisms which are eukaryotic in nature. Most of the fungi are multicellular. 
that is uh, they have uh, certain level of complexity compared to the first two kingdoms and uh, yeast is a unicellular fungi now their cell structure is eukaryotic in nature they have a defined nucleus and distinct cell organelles so they are eukaryotic and the mode of nutrition is fungi are purely heterotrophic fungi cannot prepare their own food and they are heterotrophic in nature so they absorb the nutrients from decaying matter so that kind of nutrition is called a saprophytic mode of nutrition so what is this saprophytic mode of nutrition that is obtaining the nutrients from the decaying dead and decaying matter you call it as a saprophytic mode of nutrition which is found in this group of organisms called fungi and these fungi they have one more special feature their cell walls contain a hard substance called as chitin chitin is a hard material present in the cell walls of this fungi the fungi in association with blue green algae fungi plus blue green algae cyanobacteria so the fungi in combination with this blue green algae they live together by giving the things mutually that is with a mutual understanding with mutual benefits they make their existence or living by staying together the fungi and blue green algae which you call it as symbiosis symbiosis so this combination of this fungi and blue green algae together called as lichens so we find these lichens on the bark of the trees lichens right so this is about the third kingdom fungi monera protista fungi so what are the other two remaining two plantae and animalia so now we are going to uh, learn about the plantae and what are the subgroups of plantae and animalia and what are the subgroups of animalia if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus